Every day that high tech is open, uh, one of my students never fails, Illumide, or the Beatmaster as he's referred to by his peers, uh, works tenaciously on creating his own music. Um, and what impresses me about Illumide is just that, you know, his diligence in working on his own songs. He sticks with it through his frustration just to get that perfect sound. And that's the way you have to be, and I'm just excited that I get to help him express himself through his own music. I've received great feedback from the parents. Uh, one parent in particular was pleased with uh, the advanced course design, but how we were able to, to deliver it in a relatable way to the students. Um, and it's important that we get the parents' approval as well as the students. I'm pretty excited about the renovation of Savage and the installation of the sound booth. Um, at that point in time, I'd like to dive into Logic or Pro Tools because it's a logical next step from GarageBand, which I'm already teaching. And I think it's, uh, it'll be beneficial for the students interested in music to learn pro software that's going to be you know, used in almost every recording studio out there. It's a great job, um, and I just love the opportunity to work with, uh, with kids so they can express themselves through various art forms and technology. And, um, it's just great to work with them every day. I was really impressed with the students' abilities to take a limited number of components in the video game challenge and to make unique games for each student. I remember one of the parents came up to us after the second day of the video game challenge class and they were talking about how excited their child was to come back and work on their games. The students were excited and still wanting to come back even after uh, a long two days of, of introducing them to the video game mechanic. I'm really looking forward to teaching a JavaScript and a web technologies class, not just to show them the uh, behind the scenes of how the websites work that they visit every day, but to introduce them to uh, programming, programming logic, and the fundamentals of programming in the hopes that they uh, get familiar with it and feel comfortable with programming and maybe see their, the world around them in a new light. I really wish that I had an opportunity to speak with someone like me when I was their age. It really would have um, opened my eyes to a whole new set of things that I hadn't thought of back then. The first day of the first Arduino electronics class that I taught, after about two and a half hours of kids building um, small electronics circuit boards, we had to do C++ programming, which is extremely difficult. And there was an 11-year-old girl in the class who, first time ever touching C++, first time ever touching um, any of this stuff. And she, she came up to me with this C++ script that she wrote, and we were going to compile it and work through all the errors. And I was expecting there to be a lot, because, you know, even I make a whole lot of mistakes. And right off the bat, piled no errors, perfect script, worked flawlessly for someone who never touched it before, which is incredible. Probably my favorite reaction from, from parents is watching the progression over four weeks. So in the first week, a lot of parents come in and they'll ask, you know, what are they going to be learning? Is this useful? Is it valuable? And then by the fourth week, um, I've had several parents say, where do I go out and buy this? He won't stop talking about it. He's going on Amazon trying to get me to buy, you know, hundreds of dollars worth of equipment because he wants to keep building these in his own spare time. Uh, the biggest class that I want to teach coming up is cybersecurity, um, also known as hacking. Um, and I'd love to teach that to the to the kids and let hopefully the students would get out of it that, you know, the next 10, 20 years, this is going to be the big business that they can get into and, and a huge career move for them. And that really the world um, of electronics in the future is it's in their pocket if they if they master some pretty basic techniques. The absolute best part, hands down, is watching students come in unsure of whether or not they're going to like something and leave the class wanting to look up more, learn more, coming back to me with questions about projects they're trying to work on their own. Just seeing it go from um, uncertainty to, to yeah, absolute passion. One experience I had with um, my nanotechnology class one of the students went home and ended up writing a nanotechnology rap about 
gold shell nanotubes and just a bunch of other different nanotechnology applications. And she ended up giving me the wrap, which was kind of cool. I'd like to take a second to talk about nano. It is really very insano, and that's all I remember. <laughs> The parents seem to really like the class I've had. I had one parent come in who actually got her master's in nanotechnology, and she's really excited to have a class like this for her daughters. I'd like to teach a couple of classes about epidemiology. And for the classes I'm teaching now, I just want, I want my kids to learn and, if possible, discover something new that they can pursue later in life. I like it when the students enjoy what I'm teaching and I like it when they actually take something away. We played Jeopardy and I was surprised at how much they remembered throughout the whole week of learning and just how happy they were to come to class and how into the projects they got. It was cool.